They say that trust takes a lifetime to build and only a second to break. If you're watching this video and you're losing faith in the crypto markets at the moment, then stay tuned, this message is for you specifically. All right, guys, welcome back. I've been off YouTube for a minute. I've been really refocusing on everything and absorbing everything that's been going on in the world, especially what's been going on in the crypto market. I felt specifically inspired to make this video because I know that this is a troubling time for a lot of people. I've had some offline conversations with some people in my community. I've had some offline conversations with people in my Discord group, and I've been having conversations with everyday people, family members that are losing hope, especially with all sorts of things going down with the UST Luna collapse, what's going on in the global macro environment, and I'm here to give you some hope. Please, Charles, we need you to hope again. Because I've been here before. This is now my third bear market in the crypto space, and I wanna to touch on a few specific things that really help me get through some of these troubling times and why you shouldn't give up, and that I'm here for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I want to be a supportive system in the crypto community that will give people a sense of stability and more importantly, a sense of security. Now, if you're new to my videos, I want you to know that I've been working with crypto security very specifically for about seven years now. And it's really my divine passion. I do believe that crypto security is really why I was inspired to start YouTube while I was inspired to really just be on this earth is helping people not only discover the power of cryptocurrency and how it can empower them in their own lives, but really more importantly, how to protect yourself. How do you actually take something that's etheric or something that's non-physical and how do you take it and make it tangible and physical and feel like you have some sense of control over it? And that's what, here what I'm really wanting to talk about on a couple of different things. The first thing I wanna talk about is talking about your support system and being here for you during these troubling times. Now, I've spoken to a handful of people that really were deeply connected by the UST, the Luna, as well as the Anchor Protocol attacks and how that completely unraveled in a death spiral. Now, I don't wanna go into specifics behind the who, why, what, when, and where of that specific event, but what I do want to touch on is specifically, even though that this is happening, and even though that this is appearing to be disastrous for the crypto markets, I want to let you know that as someone that's been through bear markets and been through hype cycles and been through all of this before, you have to understand that when you feed the negative energy, it's going to get worse before it gets better. People are dying, Alfred. What would you have me do? Endure, Master Wayne. Now, this is something that I've personally struggled with in the past, and it's something that I'm still struggling with and working with right now. But what I can tell you, and I hope that this helps whoever's listening to this, is that even though things seem really bad or really bleak, the most inspiration, the most studying, the, the best projects, the most profits that I've ever made are in times like this when everything seems completely bleak and, and like it cannot recover. Now, I'm not here to downplay anyone's emotions because they are very, very real. If you've lost any amount of money or in some cases, life-changing amounts of money due to what's happened recently, I sincerely feel for you. So if you have, you need a helping hand, you need some support, you need something to help kind of push you through this, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I will personally attend to and try to answer as many questions as I can because I have been through this experience. I've talked about some of these experiences on my podcast that I have, the Crypto Renegade Podcast, and I'll link a link down below for the free trial if that's something that you're interested in about my experience and being in the crypto market for several years and more than one bull and bear cycle. So that's an option. It's, you're not required to do it, but I wanted to leave that as a resource just in case. Now, I specifically feel that everyone is going through a lot of pain right now. There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of uncertainty, and there's a lot of doubt. Now that term gets overused in my opinion a lot of the times, but that's really the core vibration that I'm feeling from most people right now. And I wanna let people know that 
do not give up on crypto. If you're starting to lose faith in the crypto system, the crypto system in general or the Bitcoin system, this entire idea of decentralized money that is not controlled by governments, banks, or any other powerful third party, you know, in the case of Luna, that was decentralized in name only. And there's a lot of projects out there that claim to be decentralized, but in, in reality, they are backed by VCs and a small pe amount of people control them. Now, again, this is not to discourage you. I just want people to feel safe. I want people to feel secure. And if I can provide any guidance on how to do that, I'm going to touch on that in just a minute about what's helped me feel secure. Now, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I tend to only focus on primarily not only new coin projects that I'm interested in and that I'm investigating and doing deep dive fundamental research, but really my specialty is crypto security. I focus on hardware wallets, the benefits of hardware wallets, private key management, private key security, and of course I do compare unboxing reviews and stuff of all of these different kinds of hardware wallets. And for the longest time, several years back, there were really only two players in the crypto hardware wallet market that really had any traction, and that was Ledger and that was Trezor. Now, there's always been some gaps between private key generation process, there's been gaps with having to use cables, having man in the middle attacks, having evil maid attacks. You know, security is really just a state of mind but if you can have at least, especially in these trying times, a sort of peace of mind when it comes to holding your own private keys and your own crypto security, it's extremely important. I mean, check out right here what happened with Coinbase, letting you know as they're required to that in the event that things get really bad with them and that they go into bankruptcy, that your private keys that you leave on their exchange are now theirs and they're subject to bankruptcy court. So this is a lesson and this is an opportunity, even though things may seem really bad. And again, I really do feel for you and, and I really care about all of you. Anyone that's watching this right now, I sincerely care about you and wanna provide you the best tools and tips on crypto security, on how to best manage your private keys and really how to take back what's really yours. You know, exchanges are very good for helping you exchange your fiat into crypto, but if you leave it on an exchange, they control the private keys. So if they control the private keys, they really control everything as explained in what I just showed you with Coinbase. So my goal and my message to you, especially since I haven't made videos in a while, I feel specifically inspired, especially with Bitcoin price going down and just the general world, we'll call it sense or the, the overall vibe that's going on right now is very desolate, despair, fear-based. I don't want you to give up. Your life is worth living and crypto is only going to get stronger. Coal, when they're faced with a lot of pressure, they turn into diamonds. And so if you can persevere and you can withstand this and you can overcome the pain, and trust me, I know this is painful. So much pain. If you can find a way to overcome the pain and you can withstand the drawdowns and you do not panic and you do not hand over your private keys, either to someone who's buying it right now or to an exchange, if you find a way to take possession of it, which I'll talk about in just a second on the way that I do that specifically after years and years of cold storage studying, the best way that you can possibly do that. Just want people to know that you, what you're feeling is is okay to feel it. If you need support, I wanna help you. I do have a free ebook that, again, it's linked down below, it gives you general steps and guides and tips and tricks to really help make sure that you're protected in terms of your private keys. Now, I wanna pivot to explaining, obviously, I've tried virtually every single hardware wallet, which you really should have in your arsenal, in your tools of protecting your crypto, in terms of protecting everything that's yours. Now, in terms of hardware wallets, I've tested, used, and personally tried over two dozen different hardware wallets. And they all have kind of the same thing in common. They all use sort of the same standards. There's a few different features here and there, but there's really only one hardware wallet, just one, that I personally trust through the entire process, starting with initialization of the, of the device, all the way to the end. Now, the wallet that I'm specifically talking about, and I truly, truly mean this, and once I've discovered it, used it, tested it, and even spoken to the team, 
who is amazing, by the way. They really do care about you and your crypto journey and keeping you safe. And this wallet is the Engrave Zero. Now, this particular wallet, after years of me researching all the different options, different air gap wallets, NFC wallets, Bluetooth wallets, wired wallets, USB wallets, you name it, I've looked at actually everything and this one is very unique and there's one specific thing that I haven't talked about in my previous videos about Engrave that I wanted to let you know and this is the private key generation process. I get questions and comments all the time from people that are asking me, well, how do I know that the that they're not storing, for example, let's say Elipal or Ledger, just as an example, this could apply to any hardware wallet company, but the question I get all the time is how do I know that they don't have the 24 words that they're displaying on the device? How do I know that they don't have it on a database somewhere and that there's a back door and that they could really just hack my private keys? And, and at the time I really didn't have a good answer because that is in theory possible when you're using a BIP 3944 compatible wallet, that is sort of the industry standard in terms of restoring your wallet in case you lose your physical device, whether it be a hardware wallet or a software wallet, or even a paper wallet or a metal recovery seed backup. The thing that I wanna tell you that's really uniquely different about Engrave and really why I moved all of my private keys over to it is the very unique approach that they do from initialization. And what I mean by that is when you initialize and you set up this device, I've, I've touched on this before, but it's a air gap device that has an EAL 7 plus security element chip. There's a camera that scans QR codes. There's a fingerprint sensor here for your biometric authentication. But really when you go through and you initialize and you set up this device, what it does is it allows you to interact with the private key generation process. And the reason that that's important is because it uses multiple factors. It uses entropy and light so that it takes other factors in that private key generation process on the device within the security element chip. And what it also does is it has a true random number generator where you can literally in real time pause and it's scrambling these numbers, it's setting it up. You can interact with it to know that it's truly unique and it's truly timed by you. And then it's not just spitting out a predetermined recovery seed phrase that someone may have a copy of before. The way that you interact with this device is truly, truly unique. And it makes me feel very, very secure in an unsecure sort of world and even crypto environment. And the reason I'm telling you this is that these guys have thought of everything and I've, I've spoken with them. They've thought of everything between your recovery seed backup plate to the private key generation process, using entropy, making sure that your unique interaction with the private keys that are being generated on the device is truly in your hands. There, they have, There's no way for them to possibly know ever at any time what your private key is because you have to uniquely do it in different light, different sections where you can actually pause it and unpause it and generate that perfect key as they call it, which can also translate to your private key. But for those of you that are concerned, there is an option for that wallet to be sort of transcribed into a 24 word phrase if you choose or if you wanna have that as a secondary backup. The graphene plate is a way for you to sort of decentralize that backup seed and it's truly unique and it's truly powerful. So this is a full end-to-end -end solution for crypto security. They're not sponsoring this video. They're not paying me to say this. This is my true experience after testing literally every hardware wallet on the market. They've put in significant time, thought, and effort into making sure that your crypto journey is secure from start to finish. It's completely air-gapped, it's completely methodical, and you actually know because of your unique interaction because of how many times you pause it during the setup process because of the unique light source that's coming in as you're setting this up that you know that your private key fundamentally is unique and no physical or possible way for them to know what it is pre-programmed or anything along those lines now i tell you this not because i'm trying to sell you the engrave wallet However, if you feel like this is something that you want to feel more secure in your crypto journey, there is a link down below and it would really help me in the channel out. However, I do wanna tell you that the point I wanna drive home today is number one, don't give up on crypto. It promises a decentralized, 
powerful financial system for the entire world that doesn't require your name, your address, your background, your ethnicity, anything. It, all it requires for you to use is an internet connection for you to broadcast to the blockchain, or in this case, it's completely offline and you will have to initiate it that you're authorizing it or authenticating it. So in general, things will get better with the crypto markets. It may go even lower and it may rebound tomorrow. Nobody knows. But I do want to say that I've been through these market cycles, through these ups and downs for years. And what I can really tell you is if there's a specific coin or a project, this is a time, for example, I'm accumulating a, a, a more Ethereum and more Bitcoin because things will get better. Things are always, always shifting, but things are very bright in the crypto market. And I don't want you guys to do anything that will permanently take you out of the game. Only invest what you can afford to lose. I can tell you this with absolute certainty that feeling secure and trusting in the crypto system is just so, so important. I care about every single person that's watching this. If you have questions on how you can secure your crypto, what other options you may have, if you, for whatever reason, feel like the Engrave Zero is out of reach, that's the most secure way I hold all of my crypto personally. I truly believe in what they're doing and how they've executed it and how they've gone about it. But more importantly, I do wanna say that everybody here that's watching this video, do not give up. Do not give up on crypto. Do not give up on feeling secure. Do not give up on thinking that things are only going downhill because I can promise you this, things will get better. If you need support and you need someone that understands, please comment or message me down below and I'd be happy to give you a helping hand. I just wanna help people feel secure. I wanna help people really embrace crypto because it's super powerful and it's super critical for all of us to engage in a democratic money supply system that's for the people, by the people. This is truly an opportunity and we're still very early. So for those of you that thought you missed out or think it's too late, there's a whole new wave of projects, ideas, and you know, especially coming up with NFTs in the metaverse, like we're just getting started. So I want you to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that things are getting better and I hope that this message has touched at least one person. If so, I did my job. My goal here, Crypto Renegade, is to try to give power back to the people, to upset the established order, to really help people feel like that they can take control of their own financial lives, and specifically staying secure and feeling secure as they do that. That is my mission. I want everyone to feel stable, everyone to feel secure, and everyone to know that they can and they have the ability to control your private keys because without the private key, you have nothing. There are tools and there are resources and there are many of them that are far better than leaving them on an exchange. So please, if you need help, check out some of my previous videos. If you need help for someone to understand what's going on right now, I totally am aware. I can feel it myself. This is why I was inspired to make this video. Please comment below and I will do my best to answer every single person that needs a helping hand and reassurance that things will get better. You will persevere. Every single person watching this is strong. And as long as you believe in the potential and you believe in the promise of what cryptocurrency and Bitcoin can do, not just for yourself and for your family, but for the entire world, it can change everything for everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. I love you all. Crypto Renegade out.